Good morning to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another top five video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite pieces from Palace Skateboards' winter 2023 collection. But before I talk about my top five favorite pieces from Palace's winter 23 season, I've got to come out and thank you guys once again for the continuous support that you've shown the channel. Because over the weekend, you guys helped the channel reach the subscriber milestone that I asked if we could reach before the end of November. And that subscriber milestone was 3,765 subscribers before the end of the month. And you guys came through over the weekend and helped the channel reach that milestone. I wanted to take a moment out of this video just at the start to thank both the public and private subscribers for supporting the channel. Thank you for helping us reach 3,765 subscribers. Uh, I'm gonna set a new subscriber milestone of 3,770 subscribers before the end of November. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can reach that milestone before the end of the month. Let's talk about it guys, the winter 23 season. It's done, Palace Skateboards has called it off and understandably so because I kind of highlighted it when we were talking about the three-way collaboration that we had for week eight. There isn't that many weeks left in the year and if Palace wants to move on to their next season, the Ultimo season, they kind of need to call off the winter season and it's no surprise that they did exactly that. <laughs> so the lookbook for the Ultimo 2023 season is now out, but I've got to recap the winter season. I've got to, you know, talk about my top five favorite pieces from the winter season, what I really liked, what I would wear. And those are kind of the criteria that I use to determine my top five. Like, they're pieces that I have to wear. So there are definitely pieces in the winter season that I would have really liked that I think is a really cool piece. But if I'm not wearing it, I don't think I can put it in my top five. Realistically, I just feel like that's a criteria that I definitely have to ensure that it meets, you know? So I'm going to talk about the pieces that I'd wear, the pieces how I would wear them, and uh, what I really like about them, what my favorite color out of all the colors that are available I like, and uh, yeah, I think that'll really cover everything to do with the pieces. Um, it is in a hierarchy, so piece number one is my favorite, piece number five is my least favorite out of the top five, but uh, yeah, let's get into it guys. Let's start by talking about piece number five. But piece number five, my, fa my fifth favorite piece from the winter 23 season, it's going to go to the Argyle Knit Vest. I was a little bit on the fence when it initially was showcased for the winter 23 season. I was like, oh, would I wear this? Would I not? I do really like its very like vintage 20th century looking pattern all over it. I really enjoy the orange and navy colors on it mixed in with the white cream color in between as well. The pattern all over it is really cool. Uh, it continues on the back and it comes in a second color where it's a, little, a lot more toned down. I personally think I could wear both. I think I would wear both to work. I think they would work quite comfortably in my, um, I guess my corporate wear wardrobe. Like I could wear, I always wear like a white Oxford shirt and I could, with a tie, and I could see myself wearing this very easily over the top of that. And just having that as like a nice little outfit. Um, and if I wanted to add another layer to it, I could easily chuck a blazer um, over the top of that and it would just work so seamlessly right like it would work very well I think this would look really nice with matching navy uh, suit pants as well Like I could just visualize it working very well in my current wardrobe uh, I could see myself wearing it to work specifically and it's just a very nice little piece there So um, yeah, I even though I was a bit hit or miss on it at the start of the season Towards the end of the season, I have actually warmed up to this piece and I don't mind it in the two colors that it came out in and I could definitely see myself wearing it. So I had to give it piece number five. Now for piece number four, I'm gonna give it to the Chill Cardigan. This piece is a very lovely mixed 
colored cardigan. We can see it's a whole different uh, lot of purple colors here throughout this cardigan. Multiple buttons, looks like quite short in the length. It's not overly long. It comes in a couple different colors. It comes in a leopard print, which we saw in the lookbook and I was a bit worried because I was like, uh, I hope all the colors aren't animal print colors and we get some solid colors. And thankfully, Palace delivered on some sol solid color offerings as well. Um, it also comes in a black and I think you can tell which color is going to be my favorite out of all three that are offered here. <laughs> but realistically, I could wear all three. Like, all three would work in my wardrobe. I would wear this piece uh, exactly how I would wear the vest that we just talked about as piece number five. But this piece, I feel like outside of work, I could also wear it in my very casual outfits as well outside of work. So. It adds that little bit more to it because I feel like the vest was like strictly for work. Well, I feel like this I could add to my casual outfits as well, but the black color is really solid. I have warmed up to knits a lot over the past one to two years, mainly because I bought that uh, those two undercover knit uh, cardigan trench coats. So cardigans are definitely warming up to me and now I'm like actually considering them as like a very viable uh, extra layer that you can just throw on. And I could see myself wearing this over the top of my white Oxford shirt with my tie. It would just work so seamlessly. Um, and then I could see myself wearing this literally over the black t-shirt that I'm wearing right now. So it would just work very well. Um, I, I really like this piece. Uh, unfortunately, the solid colors sold out like straight away, but just because they're unavailable on the sword doesn't mean they can't get a shout out in this video. Uh, I definitely had to give this piece piece number four. Piece number three. You knew something varsity themed or styled always gets a shout out in my lists because I love varsity and college themed pieces when i first got into vintage clothing it, it absolutely like took hold of me i love vintage looking crew neck sweaters varsity jackets anything that is college or campus themed i really love that i love that like american culture i love that whole aspect of vintage clothing it's just fantastic so when i saw for the winter 23 season that palace was releasing a very collegiate looking uh crew neck sweater here coming in a variety of different colors which all th four of are fantastic there's four right blue gray black and navy or is that blue as well no there's only three there's only three yeah so navy gray and black navy gray and black yeah but all three are fantastic they are all awesome like i i can't fault them on anything i really like the logo i love everything about it here i really like the extra stitching just down from the neckline to make it feel i guess more like those vintage uh crew neck sweaters where they have the ribbed air uh, v area around the the neck it's just awesome I love the gray, I love the black, I love the navy. My favorite is probably gonna go to the gray because I just like how punchy that like navy text is. It just looks really nice. But it's just an awesome crew neck uh, and I was almost tempted to put the hat in the top five as well because I just love the hat that goes along with this crew neck as well. But I thought, nah, I can't include both. Uh, it's just, yeah, it's it's only one. <laughs> I can only have one of the collegiate themed pieces in the top five videos. So uh, I'm gonna choose the crew neck. Um, it's very nice. The Unitas crew neck is its name. I love it. And I had to mention it as piece number three. Now for piece number two, this one technically might fall into the collegiate pieces as well because it features the same logo, but it doesn't feel as collegiate themed uh, like the crewnecks are because I've like I can't think of many universities that sold quilted like bomber jackets like this for them but maybe i'm just not educated enough and don't know that there are actually very famous universities that sold quilted bomber jackets with their brand on it so maybe i'm just wrong but yeah for piece number two i had to give it to the quilted jacket i loved this piece the colors the cut 
the uh, fabric used. It just looks great. It's this quilted bomber jacket with the collegiate logos on the back of it in the really punchy colors as well. I love the green jacket. The blue one is really soft and nice as well. The black is really tasteful. All three colors are awesome. Am I going to have a hierarchy on my favorite colors? Yeah, absolutely. It's probably going to go black, green, blue, but I could easily wear all three. Easily. Very, very easily. I love it. It's fantastic. I had to give it a shout out. This is a very lovely jacket. Palace has done very well this season with a lot of their pieces. And for this piece, I had to give it spot number two. For piece number one, I had to give it to a piece that I definitely would wear. But it was just such a different piece for Palace to release. And I just think it's really awesome. It's just a fantastic piece. What I'm going to give for piece number one, my favorite piece of the winter 23 season, is the Palace Flying Jacket in the brown color, which was the only color to release. Uh, it features this beautiful, fluffy, shirling collar. Uh, this, the trim continues at the waist and the co uh, cuffs as well. I can imagine the whole jacket is filled with this really lovely furry inner lining. It would just be fantastic to wear. It would be so soft on the inside, but because of its really hard exterior with the material choice, it would be really durable and also really heavy as well. So you are absolutely staying very warm for the winter 23 season with this winter jacket. I really like the brown details used for the uh, pockets. I should probably say the darker brown considering the whole jacket is brown, but yeah, the darker brown leather details used for the pockets, for the uh, waist adjustments, and for the back of the arms as well. I'm assuming the reason for the material choice of like that darker brown leather for the back of the arms is because that's where you're going to get the most wear. Like that's where you put your your arms on a table that's where you might brush up against things so maybe that material choice is done for a practical element where this material is a bit more durable than the front I guess softer brown material that's just my assumptions on why they've gone with a different material choice there but if that is the reason fantastic that it's good thinking honestly uh, I really like the size adjusting on the collar the use of the material for that and the nice little just strips of darker brown um, leather just to break it up like I think it looks really nice breaking it up where the zip is along the sides it just adds to it you know um, moving on forward as you can see you can tighten the neck area just in case it's really cold so you can keep yourself nice and toasty uh, I still really like the jacket even when it's done up like this. Uh, we can see that really, really soft lining throughout the whole of the jacket. It looks fantastic. It looks very nice. Uh, on the back of it, simple, tonal, palace logo. Nothing too crazy. Nothing done in a very contrasting color or anything like that. Kept very, very tasteful. Would it look better without the palace logo? Look, I don't think it's a defining thing that makes me feel like I, I can't wear it because the logo is just so big and ugly. I think it's still done tastefully. It would have looked better without it, but I still think it's done quite well. Moving forward, we can see that when you actually do up the neck as well to have it fully exposed, it exposes some 3M detailing on the collar there. There we go. There's a photo of it. So, hey, if you're lost out in the woods and this jacket is the only thing keeping you warm and you want people to find you, well, if they shine a light on you, there's going to be that little bit of reflection there along your neck. <laughs> um, I assume that's the reason they've done it, just for visibility and whatnot. But it's a cool aspect that I've never seen on a uh, like a flying jacket or a jacket of this silhouette and material choice. I would have never thought to put it there. I don't know if it actually does have a practical use in the long run, but it's cool. It's a detail that I've never seen on a jacket like this before. But maybe I haven't been looking at the right jackets. But all in all, I think it's a fantastic jacket that I would love to own and love to wear in winter. But it costs like thousands of dollars, uh, at least thousands of Australian dollars uh, when it dropped. So I don't think I'll 
be able to get it anytime soon. Maybe 10 years in the future, I'll find one in a boutique for sale and I'll call back to this video and pick it up. I don't know. <laughs> that would be a cool, you know, full circle moment, but it's a fantastic piece and I had to praise Palace for doing something like this. I think it is a very, very lovely piece and I had to give it piece number one. But uh, yeah, I'd love to hear how you guys feel about the pieces that I've mentioned in this top five video. Were any of them also your favorite pieces from the winter 23 season? Let me know how you feel about any of those pieces down in that comment section below. And that's it guys, that is my top five favorite pieces from Palace's winter 23 season. Uh, we covered my favorite colors of all the pieces, how I would wear them, um, what I like about them, everything like that. I think the pieces that I mentioned are really great. I would love to one day own them all, but yeah, as you can see, the wardrobe's getting quite filled up. So I think I need to uh, get my money up and get my own place because the wardrobe is getting quite full and I don't think I'm going to be able to pick up a lot in the future unless I either clear it out or I get my own place and get that sorted so <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to get many of these palace pieces moving forward especially if I'm collecting like undercover pieces and whatnot I'll just have to see how I can manage it all guys but uh yeah there were some fantastic pieces in the winter 23 season uh there's actually a lot of lovely pieces palace has done this year and I think a lot of people are just overlooking it because it was the uh you know, the brand with the big uh, triangle logo on the back of hoodies and stuff like that. But I think it's a lot more than that. And I think this uh, this year has definitely showcased that to us. But I could talk about that in its own video. <laughs> um, I want to hear from you guys. You know, what were your top five favorite pieces from the winter 23 season? Uh, did you have the same list as me? What's your top five favorite pieces? I'd love to know down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering the upcoming Palace season, the upcoming Palace collaborations and releases, you've just got to give me the three indicators that I always ask you for, which is a like on this video, a comment in that comment section down below. And if you haven't already, the best indicator that you can give me is a subscribe to the channel. Uh, as mentioned at the start of this video, we're trying to hit the subscriber milestone of 3,770 subscribers before the end of November. I believe in you guys that we can hit that milestone. I think if you tell a couple of your friends, tell a couple of your family members, I think we can reach 3,770 before the end of the month. But that is the winter season nicely wrapped up. Now we can move on to the next season, the Ultimo season. I'm keen to see what we have in store for that one, guys. I will be covering the lookbook very soon. But uh, yeah, until the next top five video, until the next streetwear talk video, until the next palace skateboards video in general, I'll catch you later.